Hello there, welcome to Proper DIY. My name is Stuart Matthews and today I'm going to explain to you why I find having a 360 degree laser level absolutely essential for the work I do and why for the less than a cost of a tank of petrol every serious DIYer should have one. Laser levels have been around now since the 1980s, starting with the big bulky rotary type, which was essentially was a big laser and a big battery and a very small mirror that rotated at the top that would send out an invisible horizontal beam that you could pick up if you used a sensor. Now these things helped us do a lot of setting out on site, everything from major earthworks to raise floors and drop ceilings, but always really just horizontal. But they cut down labour and they sped the work up. Now if we move forward to the present day, lasers have got a lot more compact, they're a lot stronger so you can see the beams now, and more importantly, they're a lot more affordable. So therefore, DIYers like me can suddenly own their own laser at an affordable price. So today I'm going to be showing you the type of laser I use, how it works, where you can use it and some of the benefits of having this in your toolbox. So let's open it up and have a look. So in my particular kit I get a single battery that looks like a camcorder battery, I get a charger that goes with that, I get a fine adjustment base which is quite a nice machined piece of kit that finely adjusts the movement of the level left right and rotating and it's quite a nice cast iron base but I've never used this and I'll show you why in a minute and then obviously you get the main part of the equipment which is the laser level itself. Now for us DIYers there's essentially two different types of laser level you can get. You can get the cross line laser level that sends out a vertical and horizontal cross forward that you can project onto a wall or you can get something like this it's called a 360 laser level and this projects three 360 degree planes of laser light in the three different planes all at 90 degrees to each other. Now I much prefer this type because it's a lot more versatile and I'll explain why in a minute. So I think what we'll do is we'll set this up on a tripod and I'll show you how it works. So what I've got here is a standard camera tripod. You can sometimes buy them to fit the make, but to be honest with you, a tripod is a tripod. This one I think is just a cheap one I bought from Argos many years ago. I do have the added benefit of a sort of micro adjustment up and down. So if I want to get the laser to exactly the right level, that helps an awful lot if you're going to think about buying your own tripod. Now with all of these 360 degree lasers, they all work on a weighted pendulum system. So the pendulum actually keeps the mirror nice and level. Now these lock on and off in different ways. This one locks on and off as and when it's turned on. And this is the most sensitive part of the system. If that pendulum or prism gets knocked then you can forget about the accuracy of your laser, hence the locking device as well. Now this needs to be within three degrees of level for that to work. If it goes out of level you know about it because it not only beeps at you but it actually locks the pendulum. As you come back to the horizontal the self-leveling pendulum takes over again, it stops beeping, stops flashing and goes back to its standard operation. So there's two buttons on the top here that control the lasers on and off. One controls the vertical laser and the other one controls the horizontal one. So you can actually cycle through any combination, have any combination of these on and off, either all three on or only one on. It's also got what they call a lean-in function. Now so far everything that I've used has been self-leveled, horizontal and vertical. If you wanted to put a laser beam at an angle, let's say you were doing some work up the stairs and you wanted it angled up the stairs, you can also do that. With the lock and the pendulum already locked off, press this for a couple of seconds, you've now got a horizontal beam that doesn't have a self-leveling function and you can angle at whatever angle you want. And also you can turn on the vertical ones as well and the, the whole thing moves over with the pendulum locked, which means you're not going to damage it 
but you also can set it to whatever angle you want. So really easy to use and now I've had it for a few months now I'm really glad that I got the 360 degree type laser rather than the cross line one. I must admit it wasn't important to me when I bought it but having had it this is definitely the one that I would buy again. So a couple of things I really like about this. Firstly the green laser light is really really bright and really really sharp and a lot clearer to see than a lot of the red ones that I've used in the past. The beam is around one to one and a half millimetres thick, so it's nice and visible, yet thin enough to be able to mark a nice pencil line with it. The beam is also strong enough to just be able to use it during the day outside, like you would have seen on my garage door build when I was clad in the garage, but you would have seen that I put up some silver tape that helped me see the laser outside in the light where I could actually mark it and work from there. Secondly, this is a 360 degree laser. That means I've got three lasers all projecting a 360 degree plane all at 90 degrees to each other. And I must admit, when I bought this, I didn't appreciate how useful that was going to be. But to have it, the three planes project at the same time adds huge versatility to a unit like this because now I can do some work and setting out not only on a wall but also on the floor and the ceiling as well. With all three beams on they overlap so it's possible to see across on the ground and directly above which again are both exactly plumb. So this can replicate the work of a plumb bob without the time that it takes to set a plumb bob up and stop it moving and make the marks as well. What I've also found, and you might have noticed this if you've been watching my videos, is this is so easy and quick to set up that I've now been using it in the place of a spirit level or a plumb bob. Anything that's over the length of a spirit level that you might have to use two or three spirit levels a mark along the way. It's quicker and more accurate to use this. So for instance, if you wanted to mark a line, a vertical line on a wall, when I did like I constructed the new door opening, most DIYers wouldn't have a two metre spirit level long enough for the length of a door, which means that you use a shorter spirit level multiple times, actually introducing errors, or find a nice straight piece of timber that you can hold the spirit level against top and bottom. While you're doing that, I could have had this set up and marked far more accurately. Another common use for spirit levels around the home is marking a nice horizontal line around a kitchen or a bathroom for tiling or work surfaces. And this is where this sort of level really comes into its own. It's really accurate, far more accurate than using a spirit level a number of times. Because every time you use a spirit level and mark, you're going to be introducing an error. And this doesn't have that problem. Having three 360 degree lasers also means it's very easy to get an exact 90 degrees on the ceiling or the floor, which a simple cross line laser just couldn't give you. So suddenly this type of laser is a big asset if you intend to do any flooring or any ceiling work. One thing that was drummed into me as a junior engineer on site many years ago is the need for accuracy and you can't do accurate work if your equipment is out of tolerance. So if you've got a laser level it's really important that you regularly check that it's within tolerance and only then you can be confident of its readings. To check the horizontal alignment set up in a four or five meter wide room, I'm using timber for this in the workshop, with the laser close to one wall. Mark where the line hits that wall, then turn the laser 180 degrees and mark the other wall. Move the laser near to the second wall and in the same orientation align the mark and the beam. Turn the laser 180 degrees and the difference between the first mark and the laser line on the first wall is the error over twice the distance between the walls. So here I've got around about 2 millimetres over 10 metres, which is just within tolerance. To check the vertical line, set up a couple of metres away from a doorway and mark the top bottom of the doorway and the floor a couple of metres on the other side of the door. Set up on that mark the other side of the door, swing the laser 180 degrees and adjust it so it aligns with the top mark. The error will then be the difference between the bottom mark and the laser line, here well under one millimetre, which is again within tolerance. 
Another way of doing it, obviously, which is what I did when I first got the laser, is to set up a plumb bob and set the laser down the plumb bob and see what difference you have between the two. These checks may sound complicated, but once you've done them once or twice, they only take really a few seconds, and it gives you that confidence that the laser level is working accurately. So for this particular laser level, let me summarise what I think about it. So coming in at around about £70, this is a really affordable piece of kit for the serious DIYer. It's really easy to use, it's only got a couple of functions on it, it only takes a couple of minutes to work out. And those really clear, crisp green lines is a pleasure to work with and really easy to mark as well. The battery life is around about three hours, which is plenty for the sort of work that I do. And it's highly, highly accurate. I've had no problems with the accuracy on this at all. The instructions are complete rubbish. I think they've been written by the Stanley Unwin Association of the British Language, if you remember him. I particularly like the line that says, if you don't lock the pendulum off, the laser light wouldn't be in compulsory perpendicularity. This micro adjustment base that they give you could be a really useful piece of kit because it moves the laser level really smoothly and really slowly left and right and rotates it as well. If you could fix it to a tripod. Now I don't know what sort of thread this is, but this is 14, 15 millimeters and this doesn't fit to anything that I own. And you only get one battery, which has been fine for all the work that I've been doing. But if you're a tradesman or you're trying to use this professionally on site, forget about it because this just wouldn't last you long enough. And this is a shame because there's no magnetic base or side or any other connection other than the tripod. So it's not as if you can connect it to an acro or any sort of steelwork on site. Really, you're fixed with using it off of a tripod. So how do I say this? The plastic that this is made of is more like a toy than a tool. It's more Fisher-Price than DeWalt or Bosch. And although I think this is a really excellent piece of kit for the DIYer, this wouldn't last five minutes on a work site. And lastly, there is no adjustment for a laser level like this. If you drop it and it goes out of tolerance, there's only one place for it, and that's the bin. So, going back to my first two comments, at £70, this is cheaper than the tank of petrol I put in my car last week. And before anyone says anything, yes, I do have quite a big car. But more importantly, for a serious DIYer, you really need to consider buying something like this. In the same way as you consider buying an SDS drill or a mitre saw. Yes, of course, you can always use a plumb bob or a spirit level. We all have for years. But it's only when you own something like this, you suddenly realise the additional things it can do and how useful it can be and how accurate you can make things that you didn't before. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on my channel. And please subscribe because there's lots and lots still to come. So from laser level heaven, I'll see you next time.